Shag, are you ready for me? Yeah, okay. I think so. Just tell me how you want me to go. Okay. Can your head look down a little bit? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Let's restart. Like. Yeah, just start. Okay. Did you paint him before on that canvas? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, um, <laughs> I don't have any new canvas, so. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, it's very rhythmic the way you're, st you're starting. Hmm. Talked about how Chinese painters very often are very very detailed. Is that from the very beginning? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right. I was <laughs> just wondering if this was a very un-Chinese way of painting. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I think uh, it's a bad idea to get the big things. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Start. <laughs> You, you said that um, the uh, uh, this uh, online c uh, workshop that I did with these Chinese students that the way of, of painting that I was showing them was quite different from what they were used to. Exactly, because um, they usually paint from what they see. You know, they don't make any change. Straight copy. Yes. So to speak. Yeah. You go really uh, dark in the valley. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. It has a really well, strong effect. I think it's a bad idea to find the dark, darkest area and the lightest area at the beginning of the paintings. You try try to do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You really set the. Uh, 
contrasts immediately. Mm. What are you looking for now? The eyes. I think yeah. it should be a little bit lighter here. Yeah. Uh, the general, the whole area there? Yeah. Yeah. You paint really quite, um, with a uh, lot of medium and really quite uh, opaque. Mm. It's interesting. so funny, I just made this um, lecture or sort of master class and uh, you know it's very politicized environment now they talk about this type of painting as Eurocentric or all kinds of related concepts and then I found images from basically all over the world from this Ify culture, have you heard about that, uh, Seth? 
The what culture? Ivy culture, 1300s in uh, Nigeria. No. It's, it's some amazing figures. I saw one of those in uh, Minneapolis when we were do filming the hunt of uh, Old Nerdrum. And you have this, some figures from the Old Nick. Um, yeah, more or less 3,000 years old, South America. And of course, uh, some wonderful Chinese things. I shot one of those um, paintings by uh, Li Cheng. But also that there's a Buddha figure from the 1200s, I think, Chinese. Amazing. Yeah. Painted and when in light, it laid sort of black stones for eyes, so the eyes glimmer. <laughs> That's yeah. so, so fantastic how these people who try to be uh, politically correct are really completely ignorant, ignorant at best, or or imperialistic, culturally imperialistic <laughs> at the worst <laughs> when they say stuff like that. Oh. Have you seen the Li Chen paintings in New York? So no, I haven't. Well, I've been to New York, uh, but I, I wasn't aware of him then, and that was some years ago. Okay. But I, yeah, D didn't we talk about that when I interviewed you? That the best ones are, are in New York? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the best ones is in New York. One of the best, right. right. Yeah. Is it that the, the um, temple? Yeah. Uh, the solitary temple? Mm. <clears throat> but these Olmec figures are also quite uh, quite interesting. I can show you afterwards. I I found some, and it's not that that they're necessarily on the highest level, but but it's a really acute sense of how the body moves, and it's very intriguing work. Mm. How was it? You studied at in France, was it? Yeah, but it doesn't go very well. Yeah, because if you uh, study in um, France, I mean art academy in France. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not allowed to make all these uh, <laughs> figurative paintings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because we're so advanced in the West. Yeah. <laughs> it's so. Um, it's so funny. <laughs> it's not accepted. No, no. But it's so funny. Um, I'm reading this this book by Michael Pierce. Yep. On, uh, it's called Kitsch Propaganda and the American Avant Garde. Yep. And it talks, uh, in of itself, it's, it's of course known that the CIA and the, all these things went in and supported the abstract expressionism as American propaganda because mm. it's individualism and all these things. It's just so funny that that uh, people who paint the abstract think that they're being free or liberated or something, and they're just making a state propaganda. <laughs> and it's quite. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's like it's really. You could almost give the modernists uh, uh, say that they were right. Uh, it's in that it's not the form; it's the com. <laughs> it's the it's the uh, the AID behind it. Um, Well, you've already got your type, uh, Seth. This is... Uh, 
Yeah, he's very fast. Yeah, yeah. You can use this for your uh, passport. <laughs> 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 Thank you for checking out this video from the School of Apelles. To watch the full video and access our premium library, go to caveofapelles.com slash subscribe and become a $10 patron. That's caveofapelles.com slash subscribe.